Elvis hired me in 1970 to train Red West. Uh, and that turned in like about a three-year relationship for me. One that I haven't been able to find since then. This was a, an incredible experience. Even at Kong Rees, Elvis would lead us in meditation. And it was almost like a spiritual event for me. Uh, I heard him speak of uh, uh, Bible verses and uh, parts of the Bible that just came to life when I heard him speak them. Now here you can see his actually kick was a little low for Bill. Uh, Bill caught him by surprise. Now, Mr. Hebrew is going to get it up just a little bit higher for him. And uh, that was part of the Kempo system. Uh, they felt like uh, rank testing was like a woman having a child, something they never forget. And this event is something that uh, Bill Wallace will never forget it as well. This is one of the photographs that was in the newspaper. is talking here about how limber uh, Bill Wallace is seen stretching his arms out saying well I can do that with my arms um, but this was uh, uh, Bill Wallace was just a, a real piece of American history and I'm just glad to be a part of it and I'm really enjoy being a part of this documentary I want to thank Graceland for uh, uh, getting this project put out on the market and I know all the Elvis fans will love it. Here he is stretching out. We always encourage uh, any time before you do a demonstration to stretch out real well. Um, Bill Wallace mostly used just his left leg. That's what he was famous for. Elvis hired him again back in uh, August of 1974. Elvis, what was unique about Elvis is that he could afford to hire an army to protect him, but he chose to train and work out just like anybody else so he could defend himself. He got a lot of pride in that. There's those stars and stripes again. Once again, you can see the balance and just how pretty Bill Wallace is, how precise he is with his kicks. I fought him for the world title, and he beat me in overtime. It was one of these amazing kicks that hit me to the back of the head. I never saw it coming. It happened between my blinks. watching uh, Bill Wallace work. He travels the world doing the seminars and he's still a joy to 
to view and watch today. was training and working out with us he didn't want people to uh, be easy on him because he was Elvis Presley he wanted people to turn it up uh, but it was hard to do we all wanted to be very respectful to him because he was in the movies and we wanted to be sure that none of us really wanted to bust his lips or break his nose so we we always wanted to be real careful with him even though he didn't want us to be he was a real gladiator you notice they bowing martial arts is a very respectful form uh, that we show in the orient they bow to each other uh, here in america we shake hands and it's just a way of showing respect and elvis was very respectful Mr. Hebler showing off his speed. Here it comes. That's about less than two seconds. Now he was one of Elvis's bodyguards as well. receiving end of that elbow right there in a real technique it break your jaw or maybe even break your neck he's uh, he's talking about have your hors d'oeuvres have a salad your main course and then dessert he compares it to a meal the martial arts is a lot like uh, ice cream. There's many different flavors. It all depends on what you like. You got vanilla and chocolate and strawberry. And martial arts are that way too. There's many different styles and they're all good. And that's what Elvis wanted to promote. He wanted to promote all styles of the martial arts. through the TCB karate system um, to where you could use your face, spirit, and discipline to accomplish anything you want in life. And he had a passion about that. Uh, and if you're an Elvis fan, you know what the TCB meant to him. And uh, like everything else in his life, he wanted to apply it to the martial arts. He had seven stars put on his patch for seven days of the week, seven colors in the rainbow. He thought that was God's perfect number. Here he's talking about his inner chi again. Uh, he refers to that a lot. And once again, thank you so much.